All right, we're at this nice Circa 1900, I think. Victorian house I got permission at. They're gonna be doing the renovations. I already hit the whole yard, found a bunch of wheats, uh, Indian head, silver quarter. Today, I'm gonna be going under that porch there. It's gonna be fun. So let's hope we're gonna find some old coins under the porch. All right, guys, as you can see, I am under this here porch. Nothing too exciting yet. I got a, a weedy back there, but I just pulled out. I don't know if you can see it. First Indian. No date yet, but second Indian on the site. So coming under here is definitely worth it. Let's hope there's a few more. Uh, can I focus here? Here we go. A few more treats. I gotta go to the end of this right here. And I'm gonna run the corner back there. There's another porch on the side. So I still got some ground to cover. Okay. Okay guys, I just got a nice high signal and there she is, my first, believe it or not, my very first Merc I've ever found metal detecting. It looks a little on the roach side, but this should be a date on there. Alright, first silver under the porch. Good times, okay, hopefully there's some more. Alright guys, the uh, side of the porch of the bust, except for this in the very last corner. This is a nice old bowl with gold, with a gold design. Actually, I didn't see those flowers in the middle there. Very nice. And then in the back has the uh, 122 karat gold and the pottery mark. Can't quite make it out, but I'll figure it out. All right, nice piece of whole pottery. All right, now let's uh, check the backyard quick. And that'll be a wrap. All right, out of the luck, there's a porch here. Last time I was here, and they took it out. So I'm gonna hit here, but right on the surface here, I found this little doohickey. And it has a nice little design on it, repeating around it. I have no idea where it is, but it's uh, brass and kind of cool. So, all right, cool find. Okay, so I stepped in this little addition in the back of the building, and little shed it looks suspicious and look what I just found you can see these one there one there this here was the outhouse this is going to be pretty exciting if I get permission they're definitely going to be either taking this down or taking these boards up and fixing it up so there could be a whole bunch of bottles and who knows what down here so wow this is pretty cool all right here we go hopefully there's going to be some stuff in here all right, look at this. I got these open. Sure enough, I was right. Look at those. Two right there. And we're going to take a special sneak peek inside for you. Look at that. Look at that. There's a piece of glass right there. Let's see it right, right there. Oh, and I lost my focus. And I see something over there, too. What's that? Oh, look at that. That's stoneware. Wow, this piece of stoneware just hanging out right on the surface. Wow, I can probably hit that board there, probably on the outside looks loose. I can probably uh, pull that board away temporarily and uh, pull that piece of stoneware out. Wow, pretty cool. This could be, yeah, this is probably full of stuff. Hasn't been used in, oh, they had sewers here in 1800, so this probably wasn't used too long. Wow, pretty cool. All right, this is exciting. All right, guys, this board's already half pried away. I did not yank those nails out. But I pulled that, the rest of it away, and look what's lying right there, a bottle, just sitting right there. So I'll pull it out. I haven't seen it yet. Look at that. See, as I can see on the front, good old warranted flask. Sitting there for about 100 years. Wow. That was lying right there. Literally, this is pretty awesome. It could be a bunch of bottles in here. All right, hope we get some more. All right guys, here's that stoneware I told you I was in there. I'm pretty sure it's a chamber pot. It looks like the handle broke and they just decided to chuck it in there. Uh, I don't see uh, no mark in the bottom, but besides the handle, it's all there. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna get my rake, I think, and uh, 
start raking some stuff out and see if I can get a few artifacts. Could be a whole bunch of stuff right underneath that dirt.